good morning students now we are going to see about miller indices planes and directions in the last video we had seen some basic information regarding simple cubic structure and bcc structure and fcc structure now you know very well that crystal is made up of large number of planes and direction so we need to understand what this planes and direction mean so in order to designate a plane miller a scientist used three numbers those three numbers are actually called as miller indices so let's see how you can use three numbers to designate a plane for example let us consider this cubical structure this is nothing but a simple cubic structure and you can see the red glass inside that is nothing but the plane representation so how to make use of the numbers to designate this plane so if you see this let us suppose that this is my x axis this is my y axis and this is my z axis so now the first thing we need to notice we need to find out where the plane touches all these three axes here so in this particular case x axis it is touching at one point y axis it is touching at one point and again at z axis it is touching at one point so this 1 1 1 or the numbers which are used to represent the plane i hope you understood miller indices is nothing but a set of three numbers which are used to designate a plane as well as direction so these three numbers if you see you have to find out at what point it cut the x y and z axis so in this particular case x axis it is cutting at one point y axis it is cutting at one point and z axis it is cutting at one point so the plane is nothing but 1 1 1 so now let us see how to represent the plane always remember this plane has to be represented by means of this closed parenthesis and what are the three numbers the three numbers we have in this case is 1 1 1 so you need to enclose these three numbers inside the closed parenthesis so this is the way to represent a plane a plane always has to be represented by means of this closed parenthesis and the numbers have to be enclosed within this closed parenthesis and there are certain rules to be followed while you represent the plane there should not be any comma in between the three numbers and while reading the numbers these numbers have always to be read as 111 and not as 111 because there is no relationship between these three numbers here okay so planes always be represented by this close parenthesis and there should not be any comma between these numbers and always you have to read this as 111 and not as 111 okay now let us see how a direction can be represented so if it is a direction you have to represent the number within square bracket here so suppose if the miller indices now nothing but 111 as i told you this closed parenthesis is nothing but a plane representation and this square bracket it is nothing but a directional representation so let's see now some plane representation in detail okay so as i had already shown you this this is the simplest of all x y and z all are 1 1 1 remember this x y z are arbitrary that means it is not fixed that this is x axis this can be represented either as x y or z so this 1 1 1 1 simply indicating that x y z all this is cutting at 1 1 1 point let's see another one interesting example so now let's see this structure okay so suppose if this is x axis so this plane if you see it this is cutting x axis at one point and if suppose this is my z axis 
z axis again it is cutting at one point so what about y axis you can see very clearly this plane there is no point which is passing through the y axis here this plane is passing only through x axis and the z axis x axis it is touching at one point and z axis it is touching at one point and the plane since it is not passing through y axis the number has to be taken as zero so how to represent the plane in this particular case the plane has to be represented as 1 0 1 okay and one thing you always remember this x y z what i told you is arbitrary so this 1 0 1 can be represented as 1 1 0 or it can be represented as 0 1 1 also why because the part first case we had taken this as 1 0 1 with this as x axis and this as z axis okay so the second case let us take this as x and this as y and this as z so what would happen if this is x it is touching at one point if this is y again it is touching at one point and suppose if this is z this is zero so this particular plane can also be represented as 1 1 0 also the same way let us suppose this is my x axis so x axis the plane is not passing through so the particular number has to be taken only as zero and let it be y so it is cutting at one point and let it be this as z again it is cutting at one point so this can be represented as 